Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. Today, guys, I've got a great seed for you guys. This is going to be a seed for farming. So if you like to build farms like raid farms and guardian farms, witch farms, you're going to have those farms right here at spawn, guys. Stay tuned, guys, and I'm going to show you where these structures are so that you guys can build multiple of these farms right here at spawn. The seed for this wonderful world is 1348365.8. I'll repeat that for you. 1348365.8. All right. First thing, you're going to spawn in right here in these trees. And you may notice there's an ocean over there. You're actually on a beach. It's not a considered a beach, but yeah. You're right here. The ocean is over here. If you turn around and go in this direction, there's a witch hut in the first swamp you see right here okay this witch farm you can build a witch farm right here and it will be right here at spawn all right now there are other witch huts around here as well in this swamp this swamp is actually pretty massive and i see another witch hut already from here it's a little bit of distance by walking and such but there's another witch hut right there okay so that will also help you out now i'm going to give you coordinates to three witch huts three pillager outposts and one ocean monument the first witch hut obviously being the one here at spawn it is at negative 253 on the x-axis and 132 on the y witch hut number two that is right across from spawn that i was showing you in the distance is negative 797 on the x-axis and 244 on the y-axis okay witch hut number three is a little bit farther out from spawn but still worth it if you're on a server and you guys want to have multiple witch farms to provide for shops and such this one here is at three on the x-axis and 1316 on the z-axis now if you come out this far there's another one right there if you're interested it's not that far away. I think that one's like um, maybe 200 blocks from this one. Now let me show you some pillager outposts. Then we're gonna move on to some spawners and a geode that are right here near spawn. But real quick guys, before I get started with all that, I wanted to go ahead and give you the coordinates to the ocean monument. The coordinates to this one are 711 on the X axis and negative 329 on the Z axis. Build drought post number one, guys. Let's get going. It is right here, and it that is spawn over there. So that island area over there should be spawn, I believe. And we're not that far away. We're at 391 on the x-axis and 421, well, 425 on the z-axis, okay? So that's not really bad, honestly. And there's a big cave right there. If you, if you guys want to, like, go and explore that or whatever, um, there are some... Cool things in some of these caves um love the new update one of my favorites well, let's go and get the other two pillager outposts guys and then i'm going to show you guys some spawners and things pillager outpost number two guys is right here next to witch hut number two this one on the x-axis is at negative 967 and Y axis is somewhere around 60. No, it's actually up kind of high. This one is, but so you're up around 100 blocks. But for the Z, you're at about 409. Okay, Pillager Outpost number three is not far across the ocean here from spawn. Um, it does have a village right here next to it, and. I'm not sure if that village has a stronghold or not. One of these villages have a stronghold that is not far off the shore. So your stronghold is only maybe 1500 blocks from spawn, guys. I'm not sure what village has it yet, but I can point it out to you. This pillager outpost is at negative 665 on the X axis and exactly the same on the Y at the Z axis. Sorry, negative 665 and 
negative 665. That's kind of crazy. Pretty crazy. So let's move on and I'll show you guys some spawners and a geode. Before I start showing you coordinates of spawners and such, I wanted to let you guys know that there is a mine shaft right here near spawn as well. There's actually a couple mine shafts in different places, but this one in particular, I wanted to show you because it's not really that far from spawn. And there's even diamonds right here exposed from where I'm standing. You're going to find a lot of stuff in this mine shaft, guys. There's a mine cart with a chest over there. I just saw another one over there. And there's a few of them around here, actually. So you're going to find a lot of things in this mine shaft. And there's plenty of resources down here, of course, as well, like all other caves. So the coordinates for this one, guys, is negative 297 on the X axis and 27 on the Z axis. All right, guys, I wanted to give you some coordinates of a geode real quick. There are many other geodes, but um, this one is also, you know, like I said, not far from spawn. And I did run across this in a cave. So you're going to be in a massive cave when you find this one. Uh, the coordinates for this one are 630 on the X axis and 245 on the Z axis. As you can see, there are quite a few of these budding amethyst blocks in here. So you're going to have a pretty decent little farm from this. I'm sure if you break a couple of these, you might expose a few more of these. And if you go into a cave, you're going to find this geode in the cave. It's going to be sticking out the side just like this. Now, in case you're wondering what cave that is, right there is Pillager Outpost number one. If you come across this little beach, you're going to find a hole in the ground here. And you can just drop down in this. And there's your geode right there pretty easy to find so let's move on of course the first spawner i'm going to show you guys is a spider spawner so if you need to get that string or those spider eyes as you can see it works just fine you got a couple chests in here nothing really special other than a golden apple and you know the name tag thing that you usually find so this one is kind of all enclosed there. I had to break this wall open and I found it in a cave. So you're going to have plenty of resources nearby as well. All right. So the coordinates for the spider spawner are negative three, 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 negative 41 and two twenty three. All right, let's move on guys. And I'm going to show you where two zombie spawners are. All right, your first zombie spawner is a little bit of a distance from spawn. It is at negative 720 on the X axis and 166 on the Z axis. Now you are at level 21, 22 on the Y axis. That's where it's gonna be. Now it is wide open like this in a cave, wide open. So that's kind of nice to be able to get one that's just wide open like this. And the chests, of course, have a little bit of loot in them, a golden apple again. Uh, you might get some books. So, there's your first zombie spawner, but let me show you one that's pretty close to spawn. All right, and for the very last spawner, there's another zombie spawner here. And of course, your typical chests, you might get a book. You, you should get a music disc for sure. This is Cat418. Guys, this one is at negative 118 negative eight on the y-axis and 490 as you can see this one works as well now there are obviously more resources there's diamonds over there if you leave out this spawner you're going to find diamonds pretty much everywhere you're looking almost um but it's right here in this little area i did not break any of these blocks so it's wide open so i hope you guys enjoyed that and guys also hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did, please hit that like button down there, guys. And we're going to try to grow this channel some more. So if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments. If there's anything in particular you're looking for in a seed video, please let me know. And I will be more than happy to look for it and try to get you guys something going on, okay? Now let me go show you guys a couple bonus things before we take off from this world. All right, guys, bonus for the people that like to watch to the end of the video or at least make it to the end of the video in one way or another 
Guys, remember Pillager Outpost number two? Right here on the edge of this desert. If you come to these villages, there are a couple villages. There's one over there. And there's one right over here. If you come to this village right here that is near this ocean and coral biome, your stronghold is right under this village. This is probably your closest stronghold, honestly. So if you're looking for the stronghold, there is where it's at. Now let me show you a mushroom biome and a Badlands. All right, your mushroom island is right here in this general vicinity at 2086. That is a negative, negative 2086. And on the Z axis is 1831. It's not really that far. I mean, you're talking a couple thousand blocks. Most servers, for sure, operate within 4,000 blocks. So this is well within your range. And there's a beautiful cave system right here as well. Underneath of this island. It's pretty neat. So if you guys want to explore that and check it out, there could be um, a number of things going on in there. I really haven't been in there. So let me go show you where the Badlands is that is also right here nearby. If you're looking for a Grand Canyon kind of scene, guys, this is pretty much your place. Um, probably not the greatest, but it is pretty nice. And you will have your terracotta as well as your Badlands scene with the mesas. You even got the spikes here. And there's more over there. So the coordinates for this general area are about negative 1600. And on the Z axis is 2600. So negative one six zero zero on the X axis and two six zero zero on the Z axis. And as you can see, these spikes just keep going. It's pretty neat. It's actually a pretty good sized biome back through here. See, it's getting bigger already. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, and let you guys explore this on your own. I'm sure you're going to find lots of neat things and cave systems uh, underneath all of this. So I've already said the rest, so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope to see you guys again in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody.